Good morning. Today is day 11 and last night we cut out about 20 something acres of beans at Maple Lawn and the plot is still in. We're going to take that out today so we're getting the combine greased up and fueled up and ready to go. up here pop the handy lock there and right there is one of the desserts that we have to grease nope actually that's not to get in there. I can't do it with the camera. Okay. Turn it this way. There they are. be running out of grease but we had enough to do that Let's see if I have enough to do the auger I got to grease those out there so I got to put the camera down for that so those are greased now we're gonna close the lid on the engine so this is a little sprung ow take the engine air filter out. The guy back there. And this one. I don't know if this will come off. There we go. Whoa, dusty. It's hard to get out one-handed. That's why you don't normally see this on video. <laughs> I need to set up my tripod. There we go. You can see there's the filter. There's a the little inside filter. So we're getting ready to take out these bean seed plots, but the signs are in the way and this is how I'm pulling the signs up. You can't pull them up by hand. They're about like concrete, the sea guy said. So we're going to take this chain, wrap it around there a couple times, and bind it. Throw it over here. Loop that on there. Hopefully that'll bind. It's hard to do one-handed. So we're gonna just like that. The old forty twenty. You know, now we can pull it out by hand. go lay it down like I did the others out of the way so that the combine doesn't crush him if he doesn't pick him up before we get started. One more to go.
going. We got some lunch, and now we're gonna come out and finish just the last little bit of beans that we have. But I thought that'd be kind of cool to take a look at the bean plants and just kind of see what they look like up Here's what they look like. Comes all the way up to my waist, just about. A little bit taller. If we take one plant out, you can see there's one. One, two, three, four. And there's what the roots look like. So that's pretty much all the farther that it goes in the ground. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, kind of six, seven, eight. There's arms down here, so like five, and then seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen little sections of pods. There's like four or five pods in a section right there and then there's more as you go down the branches have some pods on them and some pods coming right off the stem so that's what a soybean plant looks like after it's all dried out and the leaves are gone you can see the leaves on the ground here that have dried and gone and some of them are still very green like this makes it kind of tough to cut and adds to the moisture. You can see one mixed in there like right there is green. But mostly dry. Very dry. done at Maple Lawn with both corn and beans and uh, down at the Bryant farm and so we're taking the bean header and the combine back over to the rust farm the corn header is already there and uh, get started there this may or may not be my last day harvesting um, I go back to work a tractor tomorrow so we'll see if we stick around and help like in the mornings and in the evenings or if we head back to Nashville. But we're down to the last farm. There's two corn fields and I think two bean fields left. Um, so he's on the home stretch now. And actually the plants just are kind of wet over there. So I don't know if we'll even continue to cut today. I guess he might go ahead and cut the beans today. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> 